Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the channel, and thank you for choosing to spend some time with me today. I very, very much appreciate it. I know your time's valuable, so I hope that this quick video is a good use of that valuable time and that it blesses you. This is actually a video that will cover off a question that came through from a viewer that I've actually had a few people over the years talk to me about, and it seems a bit unusual at first, but there's a very, very powerful method at play in the background here to solve this, this problem or this issue. So I wanna share this with you in the hope that if you've been seeking the same sorts of answers, this will apply to you. So today we're going to be discussing what I call hindsight in reverse. Hindsight in reverse is a principle that I came up with uh, quite some time ago when sort of, I, I guess, learning to become reflective about my own journey. Learning to become reflective and finding a source of power to move forward from. So stick around, we're going to quickly, very quickly understand the power of hindsight in reverse. The danger, but the blessing as well. So stick around, this will be a good one. This is going to help you manifest and understand the process like never before. This will make it crystal clear. So come on, let's go and do it. All right, well, welcome back. So, hindsight in reverse. What does it mean? Well, to understand it, we must first understand, well, I suppose two things. First of all, what's hindsight? And second of all, what the heck's bored about this conversation anyway? Well, firstly, hindsight is this. Hindsight is simply looking back on a situation or a season or a period of time or a circumstance or an interaction in life and being reflective about it, judging it and saying, this is what I would change, this is what I wouldn't change, this is what was good, this is what was bad. And using that ability to reflect and look back on a situation to empower us when we're moving forward. That's what hindsight is. You know, you often hear people in life say, well, if I had, if I had have known earlier, I would have done this, or it, you know, with the benefit of hindsight, I wish I had have known this, or if someone had have told me, gee, things would have been different. Folks, that's it's actually where hindsight can get really dangerous. We're going to cover that off in a minute, but to answer the second part of the question, why the heck are we talking about hindsight and how do you reverse it and why would you want to? The question come in from a viewer, as I said earlier on, and his question was essentially endeavouring to make sense of the manifestation process, but in reverse. Now, there's been some things in this gentleman's life that he's managed to manifest, and like all of us, I suppose he's sort of fallen over a couple of manifestations. Have you ever had an experience in your life where you know that you've manifest something into your life? You know that whether it's your partner or your promotion that you've just received, whatever it is, there's something in your life that you've manifested, and you know you've manifested. You know that there have been principles of the law of attraction at work here, that you've put out good vibes and energy, and something has come to fruition, but you can't quite figure out what you did. And how frustrating is this? Because the evidence is there. We've done it, but yet we're trying to move forward and manifest other things, applying the same principles, but unable to produce the same result. So of course, looking back on our past successes will definitely help us to understand the process moving forward. This is where hindsight in reverse is so important. But before we go into the importance of hindsight in reverse and how it can help us to understand and to manifest quicker, I think we need to first briefly discuss the dangers of hindsight, the issues that can, uh, I guess, tackle us when we try and apply hindsight to our lives. You see, <coughs> pardon me, hindsight is something that if you think about when you've heard people talking about hindsight or retrospect, the context in which they're speaking is always one of, I wish I could have changed this, or if I had have known, things would be different. But I think we need to understand that we can't take that position. Folks, we can't take that foundational truth that if I had have known, it would have been different. If only someone had have told me, if only I had hindsight, in hindsight, I would have changed this. 
folks, that's a very, very dangerous proposition because you see, in our seasons of life, every single thing that happens to us and through us is happening for us. It's creating this beautiful heart on the inside. It's creating that tender spirit that you have. It's creating that beautiful soul and developing our mission, developing our purpose, lifting our integrity and adding and contributing to the fullness and richness of our life story. Folks, we cannot look at the backstory of our lives and start cherry picking out pieces that we want to remove that oh if only I had have known I would have changed this if only I had have known I would have changed that folks how many times do people hypothetically talk about if there was one thing in your life you could change what would it be or if you could go back and change that relationship or buying that car or that investment or that job would you do it well folks I hope you can get to a point in your journey where your heart cries immediately no I wouldn't change it even though that was the most hurtful journey part of my journey yet even though I cried more tears in that season than I've ever wept in my life I would not and I will not change it because it's developing my heart it's developing my journey it's adding to my story this is a chapter of power not of weakness not to be changed not to be hidden not to be disrespected and disregarded but actually to be upheld to be thanked to say thank you trials thank you tribulations for i have all joy and strength coming through this this is adding to my purpose my destiny is now even clearer that is the danger of hindsight hindsight can breed arrogance it can breed pride and ego comes up what is ego edging god out I'm better. If I had have known, I would have done a much better job. If someone had have just told me, I would have changed things and it would have been much better. No folks, you wouldn't have. You couldn't have and it didn't happen because you don't have that power. You have the power to move forward in your journey as the universe unfolds. Manifest it, cling to it. All of that is yours. The power is not to change the past. The power is not to wish it away. It's not to look at this part of your journey like it's forever, like this is the rest, this is your lot in life. No, folks, not at all. Use hindsight to your advantage, and here's how you do it. Rather than standing here, looking back there, and saying, if I had have known that was going to happen, I would never have gotten involved. We stand on a precipice, and we project forward. We are reversing hindsight. Now, instead of hindsight equating to eyes in the back of our head, Hindsight is a new set of spiritual eyes, the very front of our head. It's almost like opening your third eye, using your intuition. Hindsight begins to show us extremely valuable lessons, touch points of frustration and touch points of success. So when we're trying to understand the successes we've had in the past, the things we've manifest and how we've gotten there, when we're trying to piece together the road to that success so we can apply it moving forward to something new we just use hindsight so we stand and folks this isn't this isn't a, a five minute thing this is a journey okay this is a state of mind this is a way of being applying hindsight in reverse to all points of your life so start to become reflective about that situation that manifestation that opportunity whatever it was where you've had success and you're wanting to understand it better to apply that moving forward take a position of hindsight in reverse stand on the precipice of new opportunity and start looking at how things have worked out for you in the past how they've panned out where did that success come start thinking about the state of mind you were in when you were in that season when that manifestation came into your life and you will see what you were vibrating start thinking about the types of conversations you were having with people with your loved ones with your fa family and friends and your support network start thinking about what you were reading what you were engaging with in life start being reflective and mindful of the sound of the song that you were singing to the universe in that season was there anything that you read that was exceptionally powerful? Were there conversations you were having? Was there somebody you were standing beside who was going through a hard time that you were lifting up and somehow that left you feeling really fulfilled? Be analytical of that season and start finding 
where those successes came from using hindsight but switched around. So now when opportunity comes, instead of going, oh boy, I'm so frustrated. I know I've manifest this successfully in the past, but it's just not working now. Well, the great news is folks, you have done it in the past. You know that, you can see that, you're living in the fullness of that. So no longer are we operating in a position of, well, I wonder if this is right. Well, I wonder if this is gonna work or, oh gee, am I, am I doing this right? Or, of course you are. It's worked in the past for you folks. Retrace your steps and use hindsight in advance. Look back on those seasons. Become deeply reflective. Meditate on the conversations you were having, the energy and the frequency you were vibrating, the vibes you were giving out, the people who were in your life, things you were reading, your mindset, what was happening at work, what was happening at home, in relationships. Think about all those things and you can start seeing and then cherry picking out where the value came from and what led to that manifestation. And now you have a perfectly clear roadmap moving forward to manifest whatever else you desire in life too. So folks, very clearly to understand our manifestation successes in the past and apply them moving forward, we must first understand that we need to use hindsight, but rather than in a point of pride and arrogance saying, I would change this and I would have changed that and if I had my time over this would be different and that would be different, we say, no, no, all of that has worked together for my highest calling and good. Therefore, we will now look forwards and take those lessons and apply them. Folks, I hope this has been a blessing to you. I hope this has been a good source of information for you. If it has, would you consider giving the video a like and subscribing? With the way that the YouTube algorithms work, that would really help us get this message and these messages out to other people who might be looking for them. But please uh, feel free to browse through the channel. Uh, there's plenty of great content on there on the Law of Attraction with more coming all the time. If there's anything you'd like to talk to me about or you'd like me to produce in a video, just reach out anytime. But for now, I'm out. I'm off to have some lunch. So I love you and I bless you and I'm thankful for you. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye folks.